I'll be showing you step by step how you can add a Scarcely timer to your Shopify store for completely free. Scarcely is a great way to boost urgency and overall boost conversions for your Shopify store. So let's dive right into it. We'll be using a Shopify app to set this up as this is truly the easiest way to do so. And it is a completely free app. I'll leave a link for this in the description below, but it's called GA Sales Countdown Timer Bar. Overall it has great reviews. And as mentioned, it is completely free, which is a huge plus. So once you're on the app page, let's hit install here. This is going to open up the permissions page. If you're comfortable with this, just click install app at the top. So this is going to open up our welcome sequence. So let's go and set this up. I'll hit next. First, we'll need to enable the app. The easiest way is to click the enable button. Once we click that, it's going to open up our Shopify theme section. And from there, it's going to default open up the app embeds section. So this is going to be located on the left hand side under app embeds. It's going to automatically enable it. So what we need to do is just make sure this is saved and I'll hit save in the top right there. So this should save this as the app embed enabled. And we can now move on to the next step. So next will be located in the bottom right here. So I'll click that and in the bottom right, I will hit let's go. So now we get an example campaign setup. So what I'm going to look to do is add a scarcity timer overall for the store. So let's say you're running a Black Friday, Cyber Monday, a summer promotion, a winter promotion, whatever it is, it's going to be across in the banner and it's going to help increase urgency and scarcity overall in our store for this sale. I'm going to select top slash bottom bar. I'll hit next here. I actually do need to name it. So I'll just call this summer sale. I'll hit next. Now I get some customization options on how I want it to look with my store. So we can customize the text on top. The sale ends in. We can set it to fix minutes or a countdown to a specific date. Maybe for this video, I'll set the date as August 25th as the start date. And then the end date, maybe be the week after. I actually set the start date to today at the recording. Maybe I'll change the end date to the 18th just to give it a shorter time window so we can see how that looks. I'll hit calculate time and it's going to say four days. Added some hours here. Maybe I'll add some minutes to make it look a little more real and it will give me days, hours, and minutes on top. So as mentioned, I get some customization with the text. I'm just going to leave this as is. I think that looks completely fine. You can also preview it on desktop and mobile in the top section to see how it's going to look. I think mobile, it looks great as well. I'll hit next to choose position. So you can either set it to show up at the top of your store or the bottom of your store. I think top's a little easier as the bottom might have a chat icon and the customer might click it by accident as they're scrolling through. So I'll leave this as a fixed position. I'll hit next for choose design. So we get an overall top bar design. There are plenty of preset themes here. I quite like the white background. I think that's nice and basic, but depending on the type of sale you're running, if it's a Christmas sale or a Valentine's Day sale, you might stick with one of these themes, but maybe I'll go with the black and yellow as I think that stands out quite a bit. So you get different wallpapers. So this is going to be the background of your banner. I'm just going to leave these as defaults. You get some widget design customization. So if you're not using a theme, you you can set everything step by step here from the border color to the background color and overall for each of these settings you can just open it up and change what you want it to be but i'll just leave these all as a default here as there's quite a bit of customization and i don't want to make this video too long with something that's easily explorable and very dependent on the style you choose for your timer the last section will be the animation and i'll just have it to slide in down i'll leave it as the default here so those are the three overall steps for setting it up in the design and i'll click next in the top right here and this is going to show the conditions and when this timer is going to display so you can say show only for logged in customers show by url you can show by card value i'm not going to select any of these here as i wanted to show up on every page so i'll hit save in the top right and so this should be live now so let's go and preview this in my store. And when I open up my Shopify store, I can now see this countdown timer. It's fixed to the top and it's going to be constantly ticking down, increasing that sense of scarcity for my store. If I click into the collection page, you can see it's going to load again by fading in from the top using the animation I selected. The same is going to apply on the product pages. So as mentioned, there are plenty of different ways where you can set this up to go on specific pages, cart pages. And I do have other videos as well if you want to add it to the product page. You can also have inventory countdowns as well, but this is going to be for the overall scarcity of your Shopify store. Before I go, I want to say that if you've ever struggled to find out how much money your store is making in real time, or in any date range, you should check out our sponsor, Profit Calc. It's the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is like the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations and a ton of different details and analytics. These are all going to let you make smarter business decisions as you'll have a true understanding of your store's financial performance. It's going to sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, as well as many other cost of goods sold options. You can find it 
in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and looking for this logo in the top left. There's also a link in the description below. From there, you can get a 15 day free trial to test drive everything for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe as I'm coming out with new Shopify videos all the time. I'll see you in the next video.